it's your girl Carissa Rankin and listen I know that we're going through a tough time right now with the virus going around and as a truck driver a lot of the rest areas the pallets and all those type of places won't let us in they're not open they won't even let you take a shower and so much more and a lot of truck drivers been saying that they can't even use the bathroom so this is one of the things that I have been doing for years now as a truck driver just to always have a backup, say if I get somewhere and it's not, um, they don't have a facility if I can go in or something like that, I have to park somewhere like, <laughs> just somewhere random that's not a facility. These are some of the tips I use as life hacks just to get me by until I find a facility that would take me as a truck driver. I can go in and get a good shower or I can go in and use the bathroom and so much more. This is just a quick little uh, uh, emergency kit basically. And I know we're going through a big crisis right now so I really wanted to make this video for all my truck drivers. Cause a lot of people been complaining, 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 complaining. No, like look, as long as you live in, suck it up. We're gonna get through this. Let me show you a life hack, okay? All right, so this is my toilet system that I would use if I was to get somewhere they didn't have a toilet or something like that. This is a basic trash can that I got from Walmart years ago. And it comes with a lid, it, it, you already still live, but you can flip it open like that, all right? And of course, toilet paper. But I take it off. And it's paper in the inside down there. I spray it out with my Clorox. I spray it, clean it out, swish it around with some water. But then this is how I make my toilet. Because a lot of these places, you're using a porta potty anyway, so make your own porta potty. So I put down two liners. And this is just a urinating in. You can do anything else you want, but I just use my urinating in. I put down two. Uh, plastic liners you can get these when you go buy your groceries keep the bags like I got plastic bags all up at the top keep the plastic bags right you buy these from Walmart a liner like this open it up and you put it in there like this okay but before you go to urinate in it put a paper towel you can put paper towel like a sheet like this in the bottom and then I have toilet water already made but this is nothing but water and fabuloso all right I take this and I pour it in there like that and that that'll keep the smell down if you urinate about twice that keep the smell down you put the lid on it Pull a row and push it out the way. I have never had a problem with that falling over. I never had a problem with anything about um, like it being unsanitary because every time I get done using it, this is what I do. I pull it out, pull that up, tie it, tie it, tie it. I might put it, up, put it in another bag or I might put it in my trash or something like that and throw it away. And I don't throw it away at the gas station pumps. I throw it away in the big, the big, big, big trash cans. But after I get done making a new one, put the lid on, take my Clorox wipes. I spray it down, spray, 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 spray with, with bleach. Wipe, 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 wipe all the way around it. Wipe all the way around it. Take this, throw it in there. That'll help soak up some of the pee or whatever call a day so that'll get you by at least till you get to a rest area one more thing I or a place that would take you one more thing I do is I keep my jars of water I keep jars of water underneath the bed it's full of jars I got like about probably like five jars of water and this is what I do say if I get to a place they won't let me take a shower I turn my heat on and I put it right in front of that vent for about 20, 30 minutes. And that sucker gets so hot. <laughs> it will get so hot to the point you can't stand it. And I got this big old tub right here that I can use, put water in, wash my body, wash down enough, just enough to get to a shower. But I put water in there, like take a, a sponge bath, get in there, and then I will clean that. Oh. 
take this old water and sometimes I pour it into the um, toilet bin just to add more water to it, pour it in the toilet bin, clean it up with the, uh, with the bleach and the wipes, put it back underneath the bed, all right? So that'll be my way I take my bath, not a bath, but a little sponge down to make sure underneath arm, private area and all that, just until you get by, put this underneath the bed, put this all up in your cabinet, and you back good as new. Like it's it's not it's not that hard. People make things a little bit harder than what it is. Look, take the advice. Higgle your bath, higgle your toilet till you get to a stop. All right, it's your girl Carissa Rankin. Be safe out here. We are we are some of the most safest people because we in here uh, quarantined down here to ourselves in the truck. So be safe and pray for others and make sure that you take care of yourself out here on this road. It's your girl Carissa Rankin. Peace out.